Hello everyone, welcome back. This episode I'm going to finally uh, do my um, AR500 unboxing, but before I do that I'm going to put some gloves on. Um, I've given it nine days. It took four days to ship. It took four months to get to my front door, but it took four days to ship here to my front door. And uh, I gave it an extra five days, so total nine days. I disinfected the box. But I just want to, uh, I got I still got a broken hand. I don't know if you noticed that scar on my hand. Let me see if I can show you. See that scar on my hand? So uh, I still got a broken hand, but I'm going to go ahead and put the gloves on. I'm glad I got the large gloves because my right hand is swollen quite a bit. It's hard to even put these gloves, the large gloves on. Anyways, I'm going to put the gloves on. Let's go unbox the... Uh, the package. I did disinfect the box. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, everyone, here is the box right here. Got a knife. It weighs 45 pounds. Let's finally open it up. Let's see what this is all about here. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. You know how long I've been waiting? very long four months been waiting four months to uh, to do this hopefully they got the package right they got the order right okay hopefully they got the order right there we go ah okay as I unbox it I'm going to uh, just a box or just a cardboard uh, this is what my it's probably return policy a blank piece of paper with my grand total uh, that was my grand total it looks like uh, I don't know anyways that was my grand total looks like they printed something wrong here's my grand total everyone there's their AR500 policy I can't return any of this because this was done on a special alright so uh, here is, all right, so here's the plate carrier. I got, that's one. I think that's the, uh, this looks like, okay, this one looks like the, uh, the Studo Gen 2 um, plate carrier right here. Just want to show you that. Let's uh, let's just take it out. Let's take it out. Ugh. Come on. All right. And I'm wearing the gloves because uh, just in case, just in case there's some coronavirus. I I don't think there is. I don't think there is. All right. Ugh. Okay. There you go. That's what it looks like. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So this is the Tustudo uh, 3D meshing. Very nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do they got here? Okay. Oh, that, that's it. Okay. There it is. That's the opening of it. Right here. Okay. That's what it looks like. Not too bad. Let me pull out the plate carrier a little bit hard to do this with the broken hand so so that's what it looks like okay very happy with it let's let's move this out of the way now and here's my other this is my other plate carrier same thing it's just the two studio light version it doesn't have the 3d mesh on it this is just an unboxing, an AR500 unboxing. I got, uh, I, I did get plate carriers. I got the plate carrier and the plates. So I, I got two plate carriers, one for different reasons. I bought hard, I bought the steel armor, of course. I bought the steel armor. And then I also bought the, um, um, the soft armor as well, soft plates or soft armor. 
So this is the Testudo Lite, and it doesn't have Velcro here. It doesn't have Velcro. I'll do a different review on these individually, but uh, it does have Velcro up here up on top. It does come with the Cumberbund, but this doesn't actually have any Velcro either. The Testudo, the regular Testudo, let me see if I can show you. See, the regular Testudo has Velcro on the Cumberbund and on the lower part of the plate carrier, probably all along the back. You can see right here. So, uh, and then the Testudo light only has Velcro up here, no Velcro. They do have webbing. They, they do have the webbing. Yeah, they all have the webbing, Molly webbing. Uh, on the back side, yeah, this is the back side. Uh, no Velcro, just up here, up on the top, and a pull handle, of course. You have your pull handle. And there is no webbing. There is some Velcro. There is some Velcro here on the inside of the front, inside of the front plate carrier, and also on the back side of the plate carrier. Okay, very nice. But you see, there's no, there's no webbing. There's no 3D mesh. Uh, there's no 3D mesh, I should say, on the Testudo Lite. But it does come with the Cumberbund. Awesome. That works for me. The padding. Let's see the padding. It's just padded. The Testudo. This is Testudo Lite. This is the regular Testudo. You can see the 3D mesh. 3D mesh. 3D mesh all inside. There is no Velcro on the inside. There's no Velcro on the inside. That's the difference here. Uh, let me see. It should come with an admin pouch in the front. A little admin pouch. I think a little. Yeah. Ah. Oh, nicely with a little bit of. I don't know if you see that, but there's a little bit of webbing. Oh, it's a. It's a. It's a stretchy loop here. Okay. Nice. So there is. Little admin pouch and then the kangaroo pouch as well on the testudo. Oh gosh, ah, my hand's broken. Let me see if I can open it. Oh, all right, so yeah, they velcro all up inside. Okay, good. Well, not all up inside, the first just uh, like maybe two inches here of velcro. So this has a kangaroo pouch. Uh, let's see what this has here. No admin, no admin pouch on the Testudo Lite, which is fine, but it does have uh, a nice little Velcro area. And down here, they do they do offer, oh, nice. They do have a king, oh, my right hand is broken. I'm recovering from surgery. All right, let's have a look on the inside there. Okay, same, a little different. I think there's uh, there's not too much padding in here. There's uh, whatever this is. I'm not sure what it is. It's some probably the Kodora material. I think the this the Testudo the Testudo Light has is very minimal. It weighs about a pound less. I think. Let me see what this one. Got to open this one again. Uh, it's a little bit easier to open once you open it. Let me see. Oh, same, same stuff, same stuff. It's just thicker. So there is a difference between the two. So I got the Testudo, Testudo Light. Uh, different reasons, different reasons. Uh, this weighs lighter. I'm sorry, this weighs lighter. Testudo, the Testudo, Testudo uh, Light weighs lighter. This is a little heavier, 3D mesh. Uh, but interestingly enough, I'm not gonna be able to open everything. Uh, they have Velcro here. I don't know if you see that. You see the Velcro, which could be useful. Could be useful. Anyways, uh, let me put this away now. Let's see what else is in the uh, in the box. Okay. So let's see what else is in the box. Uh, a whole bunch of Malice clips. Oh, my little magazine pouch. 
let's just put that all up in here. Uh, oh yeah, my little uh, holster. Holster. What are these? These are trauma trauma pads. I did buy trauma pads. Uh, six by eight. They should be six by eight. They look like six by six trauma pads. Yeah, they're six by eight. Six by eight trauma pads. I'll just put it this way. So we got two trauma pads. And then, uh, let me see, what is this? Hybrid soft body armor. So this is hybrid soft body armor. Six by eight. Got two of those. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, I got the full, let me organize it a little bit better. I'm all over the place. Sorry about that. Trauma pad. Trauma pad, soft body armor, magazine. Uh, this is for your magazines, your Magpul AR-500, or not AR, uh, AR-15 magazines right here. These are for my Glock magazines. Uh, malice clips, a whole bunch of malice clips in black, of course. I don't know how much of these malice, I'm, well, I'm probably going to use these malice clips. And uh, let's see, what is this? This should be, um, ah, I forgot what it's called. They don't even label it. Um, but these are uh, inserts because I got 8 by 8 uh, 6 by 8 side plates but i'm gonna also use it as inserts into the bar into the uh, plate carrier i got a lot of stuff because i'm i want to be flexible with what i'm going to be doing here so let's just put that right here actually i got two of these actually um because i could do i'm planning to do a lot of things with it be very modular all right what else did i get uh okay i got two trauma pads Two trauma pads. So, two trauma pads right here. Let's see what are, what are these here. Oh yeah, this is the the second. Uh, God, I forgot what it's called. Uh, well, second insert for the side plates that I'm gonna use for the front and back. Uh, soft body armor. So more soft body armor. So I did get soft body armor, uh, level 3A hybrid, uh, 11 by 14 is what I went because the Testudo and Testudo Light. Uh, so let's put that here. Uh, I'm running out of space here. Jeez. I don't know if you can see all this. You probably can't. All right. So let's see. What the hell did I get? What the hell did I get? Forget the mouse clips. Let's put the mouse clips away. I got them all black, all black, of course. So, ooh, can I fit everything? All right. So, trauma pad, uh, soft armor, level three, level three A, uh, all eleven by fourteen. And you know you think uh, you you think eleven by fourteen covers a lot. It it really it really uh, in my opinion a ten by twelve may not cover a lot as much as you think. Uh, I would prefer that uh, eleven by fourteen. Uh, matter of fact, uh, let's take a piece of the trauma plate real quick. I'm gonna take the testudo light and just uh, see if it covers. Yeah, it 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 does it does cover. I probably have to open this up a little bit. That's the cummerbund. Oh, right now, right now, my hand's broken. But the Testudo should be able to accommodate an uh, eleven by fourteen. It should be. It should anyway. So, anyways put this away now so I got 11 by 14 and I just rather have more coverage um, 
that's just my personal preference. You all can do whatever, do whatever the hell you all want. You know? uh, all right, what's next here? All right, I finally got to the plate carrier. All right. Oh, God, these things are heavy. All right. Woo, heavy, heavy. Uh, I got the, this is the strike face. Okay, what did I get? I got the level three plus 11 by 14 multi-curve build-up coat. It has a date. You can see it right here. Um, I got a, I got a right hand, right-handed, and oh, it's heavy. Let me see. It's right-handed. So this is the back. This is the back here. The cut is right here. So this is probably the back. I got it right-handed. So this is probably the back. I hope so. Um, I ordered front and back for right hand. I made the assumption that they would both be right-handed, like on this side. Uh, I hope so, uh, unless they gave me the wrong cut. Is it my imagination, or is it? No, I think this is the cut right here. Yeah, I think, OK, this is the cut. It's cut right-handed right here, because it looks like this is higher. This is a lower, so it's a right-handed cut. And uh, there you go. That Here's the build-up coat, April 2nd, 2020. So it was recently made. Today is April, April 15th, April 15th, 2020. It was shipped the 6th, came to my house April 10th. I waited five more days, so nine days total. So the if there is any coronavirus, we're in a coronavirus pandemic, by the way, that it would... Uh, it would, uh, any viruses would be dead on this. So, uh, let's move this around. There we go. All right, so there's my, well, front or back. Uh, one of the, one of them. I should have a little bit more, okay. And, uh, here is... Here's the other side. This is the strike face, of course. Yeah, this is the shooter's cut. It's right here on the right side. So they made it both for right side. So if, if there we go, one, two. So for whatever reason, my front plate, they're both right-handed. So they're both on this side. So for whatever reason, uh, the front gets compromised. I could switch it out. I could switch the back to the front and then have a new brand new strike, uh, have a new plate on the front side if my front was ever compromised. This is a build-up coat. Again, I'll review all of this. I'm just doing an unboxing right now, okay? Okay, last but not least. Ugh, okay, I got the side place. I've decided to go flat. I went flat. This is level three plus six by eight flat build-up coat. This was uh, April third, April third, twenty twenty is when they made it. So uh, let me sh show you. Here you go. April third, twenty twenty is when it was made, and I got flat because uh, I'm also gonna use the. Where's the inserts? Right under, it's all under here, once you know it. Let me see here. Is it all under here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, there it is. So this is the insert. I'm going to take this, put it in here, and I'm going to put it into, this is a very small area. Uh, what if I really want to go light? I was thinking using the soft body armor, the soft body armor in combination with this. Uh, usually in the center center chest area, I can go this way or this way. I mean, depending. But this goes in the side. Um, how much of it will I use? I, I don't know. <laughs> I 
I don't know, this weighs quite a bit. So that's why these inserts were, that's why I ordered the inserts. You can go this way or, or sideways and then go into the, uh, go into the plate carrier. Oh goodness. So side plates. All right. So that is my total unboxing. I'm going to check the box one more time. Let me check the box one more time. Okay, got a whole bunch of paper. I don't want to mess with it too much. Coronavirus, you know. Coronavirus. Okay, there's there's my whole setup that I ordered. Uh, what did it cost me? It cost me uh, just under $1,200, which ironically is also the stimulus check. And so there's my Testudo Light. Testudo Light and uh, my Testudo regular Testudo. So I got two. Just going to be really flexible in what I want to do. Got it in black. Very happy. Very happy. I'm glad I got it. Glad I ordered it. I wish it would come a little bit faster. Uh, that's it. That's I'm going to conclude this episode. I'll do a review on each and every one of these eventually. I'll start with the uh, I'll probably start with the Testudo Light with the soft body armor. That was my plan with this, and then with the regular Testudo, I'm doing I'm going full retard. I'm going full retard on this one. I'll be loading up uh, on this the side panels and everything. Anyways, please like, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. What's your experience? What is your experience with AR500? Did it take you a very long time? It took me about four months. I ordered mine December on a discount code of Crisis King, 25% off, free shipping. That's what I liked about it. I should have ordered them individually. I would have gotten everything. Probably would have gotten the uh, the. Uh, I probably would have gotten the uh, the plates last because they take the longest. I would have gotten probably everything, or actually the soft body armor took about eight weeks. But uh, the armor part, you know, the ballistics armor part would have come last. I would have gotten everything else, and uh, shipping was free. I should have done it that way, but I just I just said, you know, let's order everything at once, come at once. Uh, plate carriers are pretty much useless without the ballistic armor, okay? So, anyways, uh... I'm going to conclude this episode. Uh, leave a comment, like, share. Until next time, bye.